Hi everyone, welcome to Anacademy Neat English. In today's video, we are going to talk about the most realistic plan so that you guys can score easily 700 plus in these remaining nine months. So please listen to it very carefully and please make sure that whenever, whenever you watch any such strategy video, then please make sure that you learn from something and do not just watch different, different strategy videos. Just decide one teacher, follow the strategy video and prepare accordingly. So let's start with this particular video. So here you guys can see one thing. Already the things are mentioned in front of you. I know that you are still in the month of July. Then how can we say that that only nine months are left? It's very simple. I am considering that you guys are going to waste these remaining 10 to 12 days. Okay. And uh, uh, or I am not saying that you will deliberately waste it. All I am considering it in these nine months. I am supposing that that these 10 to 12 days are definitely gone. Uh, be it the festivities, family emergency, you are not well, anything like that. Anything like that. But I am not considering these. 10 to 12 days now what is the next thing if i talk about august 31 days you know that whenever i share any of the strategy video firstly i show you the total number of days that you guys are left with so here you people can see the expected exam day the expected exam date is third of my it is third of my guys and as per the as per the general norms because uh, nta conducts the exam in the first week in the first week of may and uh, the sunday of the first week of may and it is on third of may so expected exam date is third of may okay so of course we cannot consider these two days of the May month. So these are the days that you are left with. You are left with 273 days. Out of that, you guys are exactly having, you people are exactly having 212 days in which you have to complete your syllabus. Why 212 days? Because definitely the March and the April, that is definitely for the syllabus revision because it is of no use to just complete the syllabus. The revision is the most important thing. I have seen toppers those who are not able to do really well in their exam because in the last three months Jan in the last three months of february march april they were not focused on the revision they didn't revise well and they just end up in losing their marks so this is the mistake that you all have to divide even if i'm going to post a video in the month of september guys trust me my target will still be to complete your syllabus by february because if you are starting in the month of november then i'm not going to suggest you to complete the entire syllabus i'll suggest you to go for the most important one now the next thing right of course the very first thing that we have to take care is the syllabus completion without any doubt so you have to decide that in which category you are going to place yourself do you need to complete all the chapters or are you go with will you go with most important in the scoring one first so here see Whenever we prepare for an examination, we all are having different, different ideas behind that. Sometimes we want to do it for ourselves. Sometimes we are not clear what else do we need to uh, do we need to do or uh, we need to do or sometimes we are just like that. Okay, fine. Give it a try. So uh, we don't know. And I personally don't know that why you guys started. You ask it from yourself. Find out your reason and then analyze one thing and accept it. And that acceptance should be regarding your caliber. That how well you guys are in studies. Are you uh, doing well or not? Are you a good student or not? If you think that you have just wasted your 11th, but you have done good in 12th, then accordingly grade yourself. If you think that I have done good in my 11th and 12th, still I was not able to crack. Now I have to go for the waste still. So it is something that you have to decide and you really need to before starting anything. Please mark my words and don't take it on hard because that these are actually the... This is a fact basically. So guys, you have to decide your caliber. You have to decide what kind of students are you. Where are you weak? Where are you good? If you are good at physics, then you have to be very clear that, okay, this is my strong subject and that's how I have to approach. If let's suppose you are weak there, then obviously you will have a different plan. So it's very important for us to see where are we, right? Where are we, uh, st uh, where are we standing? Because when you realize such kind of things, then only you can work on your mistake then only you can work in a better direction so this is something that you have to decide if you think no i'm not somebody who can complete all the 79 chapters right i just want to complete 70 chapters but whatever 70 chapters i'm going to do i am going to nail that 70 chapters then again it is your wish if you think no 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 i have done a lot in 11th and 12th i know a lot from 11th and 12th so i will i will go for the right i will go for the complete syllabus then it's again your choice so if you are thinking that no i'll go for the things which are very 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 important for the exams that i want to complete though you have sufficient time but still if you think no i want to go for the most important one it's your wish so 
if you want to do uh, like few chapters from your you, you want to leave few chapters then go start with the most important and the scoring one then go for rest of the chapters and if there is anything conceptual even uh, if there is something conceptual then start this the sad start such type of chapters first because initially when you start your preparation you're quite active so when you will complete such kind of chapters which are good right which are uh, you know scoring and the conceptual chapters are there trust me because right now you are at that high uh, level of energy you'll be able to grasp everything so whatever chapters are important plus they are the lengthy one plus they are the difficult one you can start with that okay now you have to complete the syllabus then the next thing is source of syllabus completion that how are you going to complete your syllabus right if it is the offline class the offline coaching you are doing the self-study online batch yt whatever it is you have to decide you know that we are here to help you out we have started our phoenix 3.0 batch if you want to enroll yourself in that you can go for it yt series is also coming up for you now the next thing you have to choose your source wisely if you are something who just easily get distracted then youtube is definitely not for you youtube is definitely not for you if you think that no i want to go for the offline classes again students it is totally up to you you have to choose this thing wisely right if you are thinking that no i'll stay at my home i'll save my time of traveling and everything i just want to put my energy in the question practice and in the revision only then obviously you have the online plan as well and moreover moreover when it comes to the self study like some students you know when they repeat their year so they are clear that i have my notes i will just keep on revising them i'll keep on practicing them i don't need any other source so you have to right first of all you have to do the you have to complete the syllabus you have to decide the source and then as i said you have to choose your source wisely now when it comes to the syllabus you need to know which subject is your strong which chapters are your good if and you need to know what are the weak one for you and if in the weak category you have any important chapter so that should be clear in your mind that i have to complete that important chapters first i have to go for them first if you are going doing for the doing self study or if you are uh, basically focus on the yt because if you are going online uh, for the offline coaching or even for the online coaching they have the planner they'll give you that planner you have to follow that and of course i i remember i i strongly believe that teachers mostly they finish their syllabus by december or january okay so this is something that you have to do you have to sort such things out right and do mention the scoring one that how many scoring chapters you know from physics from chemistry or from biology and when i'm saying you know i'm not saying the depth of that but at least you have an idea idea of it okay, okay fine these are my chapters okay now the next thing next thing you know that you have to complete the syllabus you know that you have various resources we talk for physics of course directly you cannot rely on ncrt you have to start with the teacher's lecture you have to make the notes you have to solve the mcq then at the end you can go for ncrt otherwise for especially for inorganic chemistry organic even and uh, for biology ncrt is more than sufficient but when i'm saying ncrt you have to decode it always remember that it's not like you have to translate it you have to understand it now of after all that right okay you can go for the modules you can of any coaching right you can buy the an academy modules as well pyqs are given there you can buy separate books for the pyq practice if somebody is thinking no i want the physics book right i want the theory of the physics books then i have suggested many as well so you people can go for that rest mtg fingertips for chemistry and bio is good right for the physics you have different different publications some people they even go for the dc bande some people they even go for the hc verma that is something that you have to decide you can watch that separate books wala video okay students now when it comes to the preparation of the exam routine is something which is very 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 important and routine your routine needs to be very 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 good okay fine i know i have to complete the syllabus i know i have to go for the classes but what about your routine if you are not eating well if you are not eating well if you are not sleeping properly then trust me after a month your body will just collapse trust me because you will not be able to handle that much pressure so being healthy is the most important thing right so here what you have to do see let's say your class duration is 6 hours we can say plus minus 1 right self study hours should be 3 hours in that what you have to do whatever you have discussed in the class on the basis of that solve the question if you are clear with each and every topic if you think no i need the revision of the theory first you can do that as well so minimum this is minimum that i am telling you minimum so this minimum will include your 9 hours you can easily make 
make it 10 to 12 students right by increasing the cell part duration so obviously with the time you are definitely going to improve it but sleep at the fixed time wake up at the fixed time no matter what whether there is a sunday monday whatever it is you have to slow fix this slot that is very important then 45 minutes minimum 45 minutes stress buster activity is again the game changer you cannot just sit every day you cannot just study for every day one day you will be frustrated so it's better to keep a break time in between and in that break time please avoid using the phone please avoid watching the videos go to the park take a walk and then study okay now the next thing is your targets never go for timetable i think i have repeated it multiple multiple times that instead of going for the timetable go for the target table your weekly target should be there there right even if it is a online class offline class you people should know what your teacher is going to teach what is the session plan accordingly you can make your own plan right so it should be clear that week one these are my targets these are my targets these are my targets these are my targets and you have to decide as per your weakness as per your strength it's not like that you have to give three hours to physics four hours to chemistry not like that as per your weakness as per your stra stra uh, as per your strengths divide your targets right and every sunday should be the test day if you think ma'am i am not going to give the test every sunday it's difficult for me so you can give after every 15 days but yeah this should be something that you have to do and it's not like that if you're giving the test you're going to score well no the most important thing is the analysis of tests where i have seen students making mistakes mistakes and mistakes they just do one thing they just check their paper they just check the answer key if they have doubt they ask their teacher they just crib for that nothing else when we talk about the analysis of paper here you should know how many questions you attempted how many are the incorrect one how many are the correct one you people will get an idea that how much marks you guys are losing because of negative marking and that is something that we have to avoid right when we say that you have to give the test it's not like that it is for your self satisfaction it is for uh, that thing that are you able to understand the concept or not no these are the main these are the things these are the important things but when you give the test you learn the time management you learn to reduce the negative marking and that you guys can only do when you build analyze the paper so analyze your paper analyze your paper in depth check your paper properly what kind of errors you are making silly mistakes are there conceptual mistakes are there are you not are you the somebody who's not reading the questions properly are you somebody who even uh, you know not reading the part that you have already uh, that you have completed because you are under confident there so you have to you have to figure out your weakness so that you can work on that so this is the most important thing this is literally the most important thing so work accordingly my dear students that is something you really need to take care so if you follow so repeat this routine till december so if you follow this routine that the self study okay i have to increase my duration number of classes so obviously you have to repeat it till december so till december or till 15th of jan just complete your syllabus just complete your syllabus right so while completing the syllabus after every two or three weeks just always give the time for the revision of the previous one right so for that you can go for active recall you can start with the pyq practice first so these are some things that you have to inculcate and th that you have to follow in your day-to-day -day life and if you will start doing it and the most important thing is the routine you have to be very clear that what your next day is going to be it should be planned always so before sleeping always plan the schedule for the next day that this is my target this is something that i have to do and guys you if you will start taking a note of that now that how well you are managing your time or uh, or are you wasting your time if you will keep a track of that you can improve your productivity trust me on that so these are the things that you have to follow and you know that without any delay we are here to support you without any miss we are always there for you so you guys can see the schedule for our next series here you can see wasim sir is going to start as usual his favorite topic and i think it is the most important one for the physical chemistry mole concept so in parts you will get the right in parts this time you will get the session we are not starting with the marathons initially but the content is going to be amazing you are going to love these sessions right beta and here this this is for the wasim sir then after that i will be taking it on 21st of july at 5 pm right hsp sir will be taking it at 22nd july at uh, 7 pm and same is for the 
या वो सर सो वी ऑल हैव प्लान दैट वी विल गिव ईच एंड एवरी डे टू वन सब्जेक्ट एंड इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट दैट वन सब्जेक्ट देन वन क्लास देन हाउ विल यू मैनेज योर सिलेबस इट विल ऑल बी डन बिकॉज वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स हियर एंड यू नो दैट इन द इन द बैच ऑल्सो एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग वेरी फाइन एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग वेल सो यू कैन एनरोल योर सेल्फ देयर बाय clicking on this particular link right and you know that right classes are going on smart board tests are there proper practice sheets are there so all you have to do is that you have to be the part of the batch and you have to start your preparation trust me you are going to love the classes so all the best keep working hard if there is any problem or any doubt related to anything just do let me know in the chat section so take care guys thank you so much all the best